Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, we are going to carry out step two of delivering big data solution on Azure, which is basically ingesting the data into data lake from SQL database using data factory. Okay, so let me go into Azure portal in order to carry out this step. So here you can see data factory, click on it and then click on other and monitor. And let me zoom in a bit. just to make sure it is more visible to you and then click on other and the first thing you need to do is to establish some connections to source and destination so i'm going to click on connections and create a linked service for azure sql database first because that is our source and select the subscription azure trainings server name is rudra sql server database is rudra database Authentication, I'm going to use SQL authentication and username is Rudra VA and password I'm going to type in and then test the connection first, successful and click on finish. Okay. Now this is done and the next connection I'm going to create to data lake store. So you should see data lake store generation to preview here and then click on it click on azure subscriptions and storage account because we are using account key and auto resolve integration runtime it will automatically connect because we allowed access to azure services anyway and test the connection connection is successful and click on finish okay i'm not changing any names because you know by description itself you know that we need to provide a name and description and all those stuff so let's dismiss. Now we have created connections. Now we need to create data sets. Okay. For each of this connection, basically. Azure SQL database. Click on finish. And I'm not changing the name. Connection, we need to use the connection that we created earlier. And the table. We are going to use customer address table. That's what we are going to fetch and you can import the schema if you want but i'm not doing anything um let me import the schema and show that to you also you can basically import the schema and see what column names are there within that table okay so i'm going to leave this as it is and create another data set which is to data like store okay and connection i'm going to use is this one and now, if you remember correctly, in the earlier lab, we created a container, which is basically personal, I think. So let me see again. I think you can't view using Azure portal. Sorry for that. Let me launch Storage Explorer. images so let me go into azure portal and specify images here as a directory okay and you can specify the schema also in terms of what schema needs to be adhered otherwise the column names will be displayed as pro one pro two once the data is migrated so here i'm going to add columns here just like we have customer id and int 32 and the next thing is address ID. Again into 32. Address stripe. This is string. And finally, modified date and time.
okay so we created two data sets one is for azure sql table and another one is for data lake store into which the data will get copied okay so now i'm going to publish these two data sets into azure data factory let's see the progress of it it is still publishing publishing is completed now i'm going to add an activity in the pipeline so let's create a pipeline and add a copy data activity here we can specify the source from where the data needs to be fetched and we can specify the sync to where the data should be copied and mapping here you can able to configure the mapping between source and destination okay in case if you want to change you can change but i'm going to leave that as it is and leave all these settings as it is and validate this so everything is fine let's publish this activity yeah published now i'm going to trigger this pipeline hopefully it will be successful and if you want to see the progress of it you can click on it and see here it is currently in progress generally it is very quick so i'm going to wait for this so the copy activity is succeeded so let's click on it and if you want to see the in detail in terms of what activity has done you can see here the data copied to data lake storage so it's a very nice representation of what is happening within an activity okay so now if you want to view the data you can go to storage explorer and here you can see the text file okay so that's it for this lab in this lab i have shown you how to transfer the data from azure sql database into data lake store using data factory i hope you find this lab useful